Welcome to the start of a new season. We've signed a absolute shitload of players. Well, you know, some of them are like youngsters that I maybe make the first team, but they're going to go out on loan. I've signed a couple of good young goalkeepers. Little sort of punts on free transfers or small amounts. They might make it. If they don't, we might sell them, get a percentage of the, you know, sell-on fee or something like that. Um, but I've... I think we've done okay business. Nothing exceptional. Couple of good players. Couple of meh. But, you know, fill the ranks. But that's what you have to do at this level. Right, let's get into it. <music> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to the Basing Stoke save. Right. Transfers. So, because the game splits them now, so I have to go back and look at last season. It angers me. But that's fine. We know we signed a bunch of uh, young players. We've got Philip Mayer, who we bought for 40k, which is, I think, our record signing. But he's a bit of a beastie. He's going to do bits for us this season. 18-year-old striker. He's won. He's going to get plenty of game time this season. He's already scored four goals in two sub-appearances in the friendlies. He could be good. Like, he could be really good. Um... So I'm very excited to get him in. A lot of money, a 40k if he pays a bunch of games. Then we've got McMinnie Me, who's fine. He's a decent player. He's going to go out on loan, probably. Um, we had to sign him. His name's McMinnie Me. Um, and then Thomas Bennett, we got on, on a freebie from Wolves. Like a really good young goalkeeper. So I'm going to loan him out. We don't need him this season. We've got a good young goalkeeper and we've got the experienced Bass. So I'm going to loan him out, see how he gets on. Um, I think we signed a couple of goalkeepers. Yeah, Clive Hall, another really good young 18-year-old goalkeeper. So we got three young goalkeepers in the reserves, which is always fun. Um, then we got Gavin Aduna. He's thirteen grand. He is a target man of epic proportions. He's six foot four. He's got sixteen heading. He's got sixteen jumping reach. He's got decent strength. He's got decent bravery. And I like a you know little bit more aggressiveness from a target man. Um, we won't be playing him as a wide target. Oh, could we? No, not yet. Depends how desperate it all gets. Um, and, then, and then, so I'm really happy with him. We've got Danny Merce, um, Danny Nurse, uh, another 18 year old. Probably gonna, he can, if he improves his crossing, we can make him play him as a, as a left winger. He doesn't really have the finishing to sort of play as a, you can play him as an attacking midfielder, but he, he, his passing's okay. But he doesn't really have the finishing to play up top. But he could be a very good player. Another sort of real punt. I'm going to loan him out as well the, this season. And then we've got, uh, on loan for Millwall, we've got Nuruddin Hajj, um, who is a new left winger. Pacey, crossy, parsey. He's an 18-year-old Tunisian. Um, and then carrying on to this season. Bit of experience. Struggled with... Fullbacks. I always struggle. I think at this level, it's probably the hardest position to fill in my eyes. Um, we've got Nico Hamelainen, who is the Finnish international, 31 years old. Bags of experience. We do have a very young team, so it's not a bad thing having a bit a player with a bit of experience. Um, just in for a season, see how he gets on. We've got another good young left back already at the club, so we'll see how they get on. We've got Ewan McGinn from Aloha. This kid's 16. And I was like, oh, this is worth a punt all day long. Like, this is... This is fantastic sort of player. For a 16-year-old, he's good. He's fickle. His physicals aren't the best, but they're going to go up. Um, I, I I like him a lot. Um, I need to work out. We could play him as a wing-back. I think he's he's got everything. You know, me and wing-backs. Um, yeah, so very excited. I think if we can give him some game, a little bit of game time in the cup, I'm going to keep him in the first team to give him some mentoring and all that stuff. And then we've got a couple of uh, Aloni here. Robert Evans um, on loan from Aston Villa. Welsh. Beastly centre-back, which is lovely. Um, and Carl Johnston on a free transfer, the final one, who's like a sort of Northern Nor Irish. He's a left wing because um, we needed a left winger. That's, you know, generally why you buy players. We are going to get rid of Coffee because he is kicking up a fuss about rejecting a bid. So I'm, I just want rid of him, to be honest. Like, a lot of... We've had a few bids, nothing too spectacular. But he kicks up every... Every time his team just sniffs... Hinted in the press. He'll be like, hey, why, why don't you let me leave? Um, we've got rid of a few players. Probably the biggest one, Nathan Roberts. Loki, baby. Very cheap. Very cheap for what he is. We know he's he's got some really good numbers. But he's 21 now. Pay, like <clears throat> His physicals let him down is the big thing. And he just didn't do it for me. And once I decided I was going to get rid of him, even though it's not very much money at all, I was like, oh, fuck it. I, I want... 
He was awful last season. He was he's been good ish, average the other two seasons. So you know what? You can't just keep him because he looks good on paper. He's got to play on grass. Um, and sadly, Timmy Finnan has left. He's gone to FC Wimbledon, which is a great club for him to go to. He he's not going to get game time here, and it's not fair to him. Um, he's actually gone up a division. <laughs> okay. So that'll be interesting. We'll keep an eye um, how Timmy Finnan gets on at Wimbledon in the division above. He must be on... Is he on decent money? 575 quid. Um, yeah, so good luck, Timmy. <clears throat> but we, we we really didn't need him. We've got four good strikers now. and I, I'd rather let him... He's 24. He needs game time. He can't just... He's not like... If he was 32, I'd keep him until he retires, like until he dies. But he's young, you know. Let him absolutely let him go play some football. So I'm pretty happy with the team. We've got Bass in goal. Um, we've got Cherniak who actually competes with him. Like he had, he was brilliant. He was brilliant when he came in. We paid a grand for him. Um, we've got some good strikers. We're going to play a four-four-two, but like a, a more pushy. That's a technical term. Let's let that sink in. If you want to, you know, Google that that technique. It's a pushy four-four-two. It's a tactic I used at Wigan with some. I um, mean, I think it was the Wigan was a private save, like in and in, in with some tweaks. Because I feel like we're good. If we look at preview, we're going to be down there because obviously we only came up last season and stuff. But I think we're actually a decent side. So I'm going to start off with this. What I try to do is sign players that we can adapt to the tactics as we go through. A lot of these players can play multiple positions. Even all three of the strikers can also play attacking mid or on the right-hand side or left-hand side as inside forwards and all that sort of good stuff. So we're pretty much covered. Um, we've even got plenty of, we've got a couple of DMs if needed, if we're going to go to it. But I thought we'd try, keep it basic at the start and we'll go from there. Right. What did I promise him? Coaching team. Come on, mate. It's really good. It's, no, it's not bad. Okay, I'll get another coach in. Fuck's sake. Um, right. Bass. And right back, so we've got Burley, who was okay last season, but like it was this breaking season. Um, and we've got McGinn, who's the very much the youngster. And we are signing, so we are hopefully signing uh, Tivong Rashesha. Rashesha? Uh, for, for, is that a loanee? Yeah, as our new right back option. Um, again, wing backs, absolute dicks to try and sign so for the first game of the season are we straight into the league i take it Grimsby let's give the youngster let's g <laughs> let's give him a game see how he gets on where is he I've lost him there he is like he could be good um and then left back we're going to go for the experience on the other side and we've got San Tagling like that's just like that that, no that name just irritates me it's just um what am I doing Luke, right, <laughs> right, Luke on the on the uh, left hand side, who's a decent player and another youngster. So centre backs, we've definitely upgraded. We've got a low who's our fourth choice. We're going to keep him around. He's probably this will be like his last season with us. But we've got the two good loanies. We've got Ben Shaw, who's very good. But I'm going to start off actually with the loanies because they're probably the best centre backs we've got, and you can be third choice. And then we go Burley on the bench. And we'll have Luke on the bench. And then our deep lie. And then we'll go up top. Because I know what I know what I want to do here. Because we got the because we got the target man. We've got Duna, who's just the beast. And then we're gonna go with Monty, who smashed in goals last season. Absolute disgust. It, sh it shows how little he does, or how bad his the rest of his game is, that despite scoring. 23 goals in 36. He just scraped a seven average. He must be sh like miss sitters and be shit at everything else. But it's fine. It's, we can, you know, bang two goals in three every three games for the rest of the season. I'll be good with that. And then we've got um, Valderrama and Maya as our as our backup. So we're, up top, we we are Gucci JJ player of the season. My player of the season last season is going to come in. Carl Johnson of the Northern Irish, bit of experience. And then we've got Hadge as the backup, um, and then we've got McCoy's there. And then we just need to work out what we're doing. I think we're going to go with Fent. I was quite happy with so we've got Fenton and Chai Joseph as the 
ball winning midfielders. I might change the roles up because I don't know. I don't think ball winning midfielder and deep line playmaker were my go uh, my go to for years, and they've always worked. And it just hmm. I don't know if it's just ratings that have been dented on deep line playmakers, but I feel like they don't work as well. So Denmon is our best playmaker. Who's he wanted by? Okay, Dom's and Peterborough. Okay. So we've got a pretty good team. We've upgraded defence especially. These two could get a really good partnership going. Like, these two are beastly. I, th I like the experience here. I think once we get the right back in, we'll be fine. I think I might get rid of Toby, Toby Burley and gamble on McKinn being the backup because he's defensively he's a little bit weak. He's okay. I like his team. He's got decent men. I might keep him from one more. Like he was awful though. But all our fullbacks were awful last season. We had a system that didn't really help them. All right. I think we're ready to go. Let's, as we always do. Who are we playing? Grimsby. Uh, okay, they're seventeenth. So it's a pretty evens game, and we play. It's away from home, so I, I think a draw first game of the season would be good. Lot of new players and a 16 year old right back. It's fine. All right, good luck, everybody. I think going into this season, I think, um, let's have a look at finances by the way 123. So we've clawed back a little bit of money because we've got obviously you get a bit more money for being in League Two, a bit more prize money, like all that, the share of stuff. So that really helps, but it's obviously just going to disappear. Not too bad. It's saying 716. It's always worth. It's always better than the projection. But not too bad. And we've I think we've reduced the wage budget. Yeah. A decent amount. We're on uh, 23. A couple of grand off the wage budget as well. Decent. Go out there and impress me. And we've got a few prospects. Like four or five prospects. That might blossom into a little bit of cash. A sale. Or some sell-on fees. Right. Let's go, boys. We are going to be adapting the tap as we go i'm not set in stone at all with this tactic this is kind of the base and we'll work off that All right duna i think two up top is the way to go we've got good strikers and we've got like a target man and a paste couple of pacey guys and a couple of targety men it makes sense that we play two up top but other than that i'm kind of open to it we might even play like a three at the back formation like three center backs if this doesn't work out look at that xg prolific both sides okay hamalainen and I like... Oh, that's a fucking ball! Oh, it should have scored! What a ball! <laughs> the whippage on it! I like having the sprinkle of experience. I need to do that a little bit more. Sometimes I like playing with boys. Don't take that out of context. I like playing with... I always have to go for a younger team. I like finding these the young talents and stuff. But sometimes I forget to bring in a bit of experience. Go on, Johnston. He's battling for it. He's battling. I appreciate that. Shit of football, but he's battling for it. Go on, Fenton! Oh, that's got to be off, right? <laughs> yeah, Monty's like standing on the goalkeeper. <laughs> I think that was a, it is, it's a little bit of interference there, Monty. That was our right back. Right back's playing a 6.9, which is pretty good anyway. But if you remember to last season where the averages were like horrific, that is actually really good. Give them a little bit of encouragement. Okay. Um, that's fine. That's fine. I think that's about what we expected. I'll lie and say we've been the better team. We want to just bed these players in. So Maya is the quick one. So we're going to go for you for Monty. I kind of want to just... It might just be in my head, but I always kind of want to get debuts and stuff like that out the way. I don't know if it actually has any influence in the game. Somebody coming on for the debut or the first few games. But in my head it does. So, Right. Here we go. I'm a lineman. Another great ball. Unlucky. Anybody going to chase that? Evans has been done. Mel is going to just keep him there. Keep him there. That'll do. Bit, bit panicky, but we'll, we'll take it. Bass should have held that, really. Um, we got the, let's, go, let's see if we can nick a goal. 
Like, that's nice. Bit of space. Duna. Lovely. That's what we want to see. Maya, on his debut! Yes, boys! Let's go! Come on, that was beautiful. There was so much space. Look, acres of space. Acres of space. Acres of space. And then Dunes with a lovely little slip through ball. Maya, left foot, bottom corner, 1 0. He's been on the pitch 18 minutes. Okay, let's bring uh, McCoy's. Obviously, it's hot vinegar because that's the best flavour. Don't leave a comment saying it's a different flavour. The best, generally speaking, the best flavour of crisps is salt and vinegar. End of. Occasionally, there's some, like, I like skips. Ooh, I wouldn't want salt and vinegar skips. Prawn cocktail. But as a whole, as a rule, a lesson, a rule that we should all live by, I feel like, salt and vinegar is the way to go. Don't leave a comment arguing. If you do leave a comment arguing why it's a different flavour, I, I want a really good reason why it's cheese and fucking onion or beef. Like, if you say beef, just get out. Like bacon, all those, all those flavors, they they just taste the same. <laughs> it's all beef, and they go, oh, it's roast chicken and gravy, and it's just like it just tastes like beef crisps. Oh no, good block, Evans. Oh, and you've all absolutely been mugged off. Okay, a little bit of panic there, boys. There we go, get rid. Oh, whoa, hello, good clearance, mate. Thanks, buddy. Cheers for that. It's just uh, yeah, a little bit of time wasted on there. Yes! It's not spectacular in any way, shape or form, but a few good things. Duna, debut, assist. Mayer, debut, goal. McGinn, 16-yard right back, boshes in a 7.1. The two centre-backs, who I think could be really good, are really good <laughs> with sevens each. Bass with an 8.1. Has Amalinum, 6.9 for the ladies. Um, I, this, That's perfect. Oh, like 20 nil would have been perfect. But, you know, 1 nil's great. We had a couple of dodgy moments, but it's not like we rode our luck or anything. So I am very happy with that. Obviously, Grimsby aren't a great side, but then neither are we. Um, okay, so Nurse is going to go to Yeovil. I do need him to be a regular starter. That's good. Where the fuck are Yeovil? Fucking hell. National League. It was tight. Yes. May have scored many. Oh, no, that's his first ever game of football. Excellent. <laughs> right, there we go, my friends. What do you think? And as always, nine saves. Um, as always, in the first game of the season, in the comments below, as well as your favourite crisp flavour and why, give me a... If you say... If you if anybody, if anybody fucking says ready salted, I swear to God. I swear to God I will ban people. <laughs> um, but uh, let me know where you're going to think we're going to finish this season. I'm going to say... Trying to use my brain instead of my heart because I want to say I think like my heart saying yeah playoffs play I think mid table on a, in all honesty maybe a a little brief challenge for playoffs um, I'm gonna keep looking to see if we can find any little gems but I don't think we've strengthened enough to really suddenly make a giant leap this is our second season in League Two so it's it's pretty damn good. So if we can become a mid table team for the, another season then next season push on that will be fine by me. Um, but I think I'll take it. You know, I think I'll take mid-table. We we need to sign... Just, I just thought in my back of my brain, I was like, remember to sign a coach. I won't bore you to death with signing staff because it makes me want to hurt myself having to sign staff. Right, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the continued support. Thank you for that. We're still getting people just giving on Just Giving as well and everything like that. I should have some updates soon. Now I'm all sort of settled in the house and everything. Um, I... Get, I'll get back in contact with Basingstoke and we'll get some stuff sorted and everything. And So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you all so much for the support and everything. If you haven't checked out my new house, there's a, there's a video for it. You can go watch it. And also I'm streaming. <laughs> I'm doing a new stream. We're playing the World Super League, which is like all the big teams in the world put into one giant league pyramid. Um, and we are managing Pyramids FC, which is a team apparently. Uh, from Egypt, obviously. Um, they're all in based in England now. All the teams are based in England and everything. Our stadium is called 30 June. And I was like, that's just a mistake. And then we Googled it. No, it actually is called 30 June Stadium. Um, just a date. Amazing. Um, and 
we have some we have a couple of Mahmouds and some great names in our team. Um, and there are Egyptian team based in England that want to, us to sign Brazilians, which is always you know mix it up, keep it fresh. Um, also, you can if with channel points, you can buy a player and be in the game. And also, we're having a channel point like community goal, which once hit, we get to kill a player of our choosing. All his attributes will be reduced to one, which will be fun. So it's going to be interesting to see who we pick with that. Whether it's like, no, just fuck Neymar. Or something, or we go for like an actual rival in the league or something, or somebody that left us and now are like a tainted lover. Right, there we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.